Are you ready to simplify work item management and boost team productivity in Azure DevOps? Let's get started. Hi guys, in this video we'll see how to invite a member, how to create a team and how to assign this member to area and further according to area wise we will create a work item. We will assign API, feature, user story, task, bug, all these things team wise if you have QA team, admin team or we can say front end team, back end team or we can divide the team module wise also. It depends upon us how we want to manage my team. So there is a no such a hard and fast rule. We should we make team in this name, in this order? No, you can even divide your team in n number of the way also okay so let's see the simple process how we can manage all this thing in azure devops let's start with the member input so as you can see this is organizations in organization setting we have users from here we can assign the users we can write down the username or email id we can give the access level we have three access level guys basic stakeholder and visual studio subscriptions basics means a team member like developer tester project contributor he will get a full access of the board including he can manage the sprint and backlog also. Basic is for the active contributor who need to access all the major features except advanced tool like test plan. Otherwise, he will get it everything. Even he can create or edit the pipeline also. Even he can clone, push, pull everything. We can write down the test case also. Another one is that we have the stakeholder. Stakeholder means he will get very limited access. He cannot interact with the any technical feature we can say. He just have the read only right. He can just track the project progress and give the feedback. He can just view the dashboard on the report but he can work on the board. He can create or edit the work item like task, bug, user story. He can create it but he cannot do anything in the repository, pipeline or test plan. He cannot do such a thing. Stakeholder generally we have uh, with the Azure free subscription we can make n number of the stakeholder but we can make only five basics user only. Remember this point also because that is a part of the billing. Another user access level we have it Visual Studio subscriber. We have two kind of Visual Studio subscriber that is called uh, professional and enterprise. In both the professional enterprise we have very slightly difference but basically they will get it all the basics plus advanced feature also according to their subscription. If you have enterprise, he will get it as planning also. Okay. And rest everything, whatever he has the basics, he will get it also. These are the three access level and these access level won't be changed. It will remain same. But other than that, we can give to the user to permissions. So according to project wise, we can give the user permission and we can control it also. So here we are making the user and here we are actually giving whatever the user we are making that we will giving the project right also. This user will be available in this project or in all the project. We can create the user from here also. Even we can add the user from the project also. Once we go into project directly, we can invite it over here also. Once I will add any user, suppose I'm adding it abc at the gmail.com. Here by default, it will become stakeholder. So he won't be get any access level. He won't be get any basics or any Visual Studio subscription, all are will become a stakeholder. So this is the default access level. And this default access level, guys, I'll show you from where it is coming, the default one. And this is coming default access level. Okay. And here we can see this is the five basics user only we can make it. But stakeholder, we can make it and number of the thing also. So from here, we can add the user uh, one and uh, group level also we can make it. We can make the group of the users and even we can give the permission also. Okay and another one is directly in a project we can add the user and that user will get access of this particular project only so i've already added this much of user they will have the access of this project only they cannot see any other project we can create the user while we're creating the team also so team how we will create we will go into project setting we click on the teams and from here we can create the teams i already created the two teams backend team and the front end team how we'll create it we can give the name over here we will add the member if existing member we have we can write down suppose actually we are giving the qa team here I'm adding the few members. Suppose I'm adding one of the Rahul. I'm adding the Vivek also. These will be the part of the QA team. Here I will add the descriptions. QA team for test project. Testing project. Administrations, we can give the administration also and add admin team as a member. So this user also will become the member of this team. This is the contributor. We have the different different kind of contributor guys. Contributor means actually who will contribute in the project. So from the contributor wise, we can actually give the role and write okay, this. He can read it. He can add it also. All the permission setting, we can change it also. We have the right like the administrations, reader. We have reader means hit read only. Another is create an area path with the name of the team. Whatever the team we are creating, area path also it will create it. Or we can uncheck it also. We can create separately also. After that, we will create it. So we have new team is actually this one. So in this team, these are the member. In this team, these are the member. In this team, we have these are the members. So 
team is created member is assigned to the team even member we can invite from here also directly once we actually create we can invite even we can go we can add the member from here also anyhow whatever the member we are adding from anywhere it will become part of organization only okay after that once the member is created now we can assign the area means we are application divided into module wise like ui component like database like uh, admin panel or it can be anything okay like account sections anything we can say team wise backend wise front end wise any how we can divide our areas area wise we will create the ticket so that we can ticket we can segregate also okay so this is done now we'll go into project configuration here we have areas here by default we have this is default area and even we cannot delete it now we need to create our own area so here i'm creating a few area first is front end this one this is front end inside in it we can create two more areas new child that is UI component. One more area that is called integrations. Okay. Now inside this one, I'm making a new child and that is backend. Okay. In this one, I'm making a new child that is called API development. Backend team will be do the API development. Another one we can give it database. Backend team will take care of the database also. And we can add one more that is called authentications. Similarly, we can add one more team that is called QA team. Here I will add new child that is called QA team. Okay, QA team I'm directly adding it. So these are the three children of this one. Okay. And these are the area, but we are didn't assign all these things with the team. So now we need to assign with the team. So we need to go into team configurations. And if you will make the team at the time, also if you will click the checkbox automatically the area and the team will be the come automatically they will map it. But over here, we can actually map it later on. Also, we'll go into area here. These are the teams front end team, back end team, QA team. Okay. These are the team. So first we will choose the front end here. We will choose the area in the front end. These are the area integrations. We'll select another area. That is called UI component. Close it. Now we'll choose the backend team. Here we'll choose the three areas of the backend authentications. And we have database. database. Okay. This is done. Now we'll go in a QA team. QA we have only one area that is called QA team only. This is done. Right. Even we can give testing, bug fixing, even analysis team, any name we can give it also. So we assign this one. Now we'll go back to the project configurations and now we will go to the area. Now we can see team is coming, right? So these things we'll assign with the team and this is hierarchy. We are not assigning with the team, but actual thing, actual area we are assigning with the team only. So this task is done. Now we assign the areas with the team. Now what we need to make it work item, all the work item we will assign to the areas. What the assign with the QA, what we assign the front end. Front end also we have two team integration team and the UI component. UI component means they can make the core component. Okay. So these things we will make in a work item and work item we can create from here. So in the hierarchy wise in the work item, first we will create a epic. Epic means the bigger level. They are actually broad level what we wanted to make it. So we wanted to make a job portal that is core system. We wanted to make it. So I'm just making it over here. One epic. This is the epic name here. We can assign this epic to the one of the user. So I'm assigning over here this one. Here we have priority, risk, effort, business value, all these values also we can give it. it. Suppose this epic will start on this one and it will add in after two months, we need to add it. Okay. Priority wise, it should be very high. Risk wise, we does not have risk. Right now we are creating new things. So it is not depend upon other system. That is actually risk is very low. Effort, how much effort you wanted to give it. Suppose I wanted to give it 100 hours. Okay. Business value, it should be very high. So we can give it any business value. Suppose this is very high. We can give according to priority wise, we can give some business value also. Time criticality it is very critical. So according to one, two, we can give some time criticality also. We can give it. Is it this project actually give business or architecture business point of view? We can give it also. And guys, these are the just number. You can give it according to your team wise, according to your company structure wise. We can choose it also. This does not have any childs. This is a parent work item. This area is job application, the main area we have. Now we'll save it. Next work item we need to make into feature. This epic has few features. So first feature is user authentication system. We need to make it. This is also priority is very high. And we can write down a description also over here. And area should be the job application or we can give the backend team also. In Epic, we can we can change this description. In Epic description should be some meaningful. So we are saying implement secure user authentication system. We can assign this ticket to the same user. And we can give the some story point that is called effort. That is, I suppose this will take 34 hours. Okay. 
and job area this is part of authentications means the back end only so we'll give it over here authentication so this is the job area and we'll save it before saving we should be add this is to the parent that is called this is epic that is job portal core system this is we are making and saving it okay so this is done we can write down the start date end date or time criticality or business value and risk all these things we can write down also anything we can make it suppose i'm making it over here this is also medium and save and whatever I'm making, it will go in history. We can see all the saving. Once we save, then it will create a history also. So all these things we will get it over here also. So this is two work item is done. Next thing is we will make a story. So we will go there. We'll create a new user story. That is called this is login implementations. Here we will give the story point is eight story point for this ticket. This priority is high. This ticket is very high because we will assign to the user different different story. But this story is very high. And this is right. This is backend only. Here we can write down some descriptions. You can write down acceptation criteria also. So these are the acceptation criteria. This we will link to the parent one. That is called this one. Add the link. And we can say this story also we will assign to the same user. Same. So this is done. Next part is we need to make the task. So this is the task of that particular user story. So this is backend. Even we can write down in this way also, guys, to identify this is backend or frontend. Here also, it's up to us what the title we wanted to give it. This story I wanted to assign to one of the backend user. This is the user. This is priority wise. This is first activity is the development. This is development hours wise. Suppose one story point is eight hour and here we will give it actually three three is the basically estimation so here we will give three story point means 24 hours so this is 24 hours and uh, last time we given the i think eight or ten we will change it also that one here we need to write down the description about this ticket this is the user we assign it we need to link it also so we will link this one to login implementations this is done and we'll save it also. So this task is done. So we have one epic, one feature, one story, and one task also. Okay. Similar to that, we can make few more tasks. Here we will go and we can create the task. One more thing, guys, we can make the story over here also. And we can see this is epic. Okay. This is epic by default. So epic we have in work item team. Epic we have job application team. And right now we are working in backend. Backend does not have set backlog iterations. That's fine. We can add the iteration also. Iterations, guys, we have select iterations. We have all the iteration over here. And right now it does not have any iterations. So we can create one iterations. After adding the sprint, now from here, guys, we can add the iteration also. According to team wise, we can add the iterations. And these iteration should be available in the project configuration also. So I already added over here beta, beta 2, beta release 1 and release 0. Here I didn't add it actually more iteration, I will add it. But after adding the iterations, we can see in the work item, in the backlog or the board, we can see all the item according to team wise. So we does not have anything, but here we can see whatever the item we created. And feature also, we can see it also because we created one feature, right? And from here also we can create the user story or either we can create from there also. Similarly, we should see the backlog also. We can see backlog and these are the iteration. These are the planning is start coming it also, okay? We can make new sprint here. We can see mapping also. These are the mapping, we can see mapping. So by default, we map over here. Even we can drag and drop, we can map it also if we require to map something, okay? So this is the way we can map it and one way we can map it from here, either drag and drop. Otherwise, we know we can click and we can add the link parent to chat. Both the way we can do. And these things is coming from here. When we click, we will off. This area will go to off. Mapping, this area will become parent if you wanted to see the parent. This is epic. This is feature. This is user story. Like here, we can see it also. In progress and item, these are the some feature we will remove and add it also. So these are the way to filter. These are the way if you wanted to see hierarchy wise or the, just basically in a view, if you wanted to be see in better way, then we can enable this feature also.